intangibles and tangible risks has certainly accelerated due to the lockdown. Um, I think that the way that Lloyd's is helping its customers deal with that is to make sure that we're at the forefront of understanding our clients' emerging risk needs in relation to intangibles. And that requires a, a completely new way of thinking. We're trying to work far more in partnership with our clients to understand what their needs actually are. You can see that as the market cap of the S&P 500 or the FTSE shows, that the modern day companies really kind of made up much more of intangibles than, for example, the companies in the 1980s. And therefore, I think it's important that companies recognize that as assets, intangibles also have a place, just like physical buildings and infrastructure, to be seen as part of the overall resilience of the company, and therefore risk management and processes around the management of risk for those assets has got to come to the forefront. Knowing that as a company you have a level of resilience is really kind of of paramount importance today. So showing some depth of resilience and protecting your asset in that area is really one of the things that I think could create a considerable competitive advantage for the modern day business. I think that businesses should be asking their brokers frankly, for help and guidance into how they can best transcend the complexities of risk in relation to intangibles within the business. And that means inviting discussion beyond risk managers and into the C-suite, but also into brand, the legal teams and other stakeholders in the businesses. Well, there are actually quite a lot of products that Lloyd's already offers in the marketplace to, to cater for intangible risks. And they range from uh, risks that are covered off via different liability classes right through to affirmative covers uh, for intellectual property patent type risks and through to data and reputational type risk policies. I think the global insurance market has always and will continue to look at Lloyd's as really the place by which, as the epicenter of insurance innovation, can kind of bring to the table a whole new set of practices and products and services that really help support the transition. And obviously, I'm delighted to say that the Future Minds projects at Lloyd's, which has over 100 different individuals representing underwriting, broking and our clients, is currently working on intangibles as its subject matter to come up and look at solutions that kind of present themselves um, that have been highlighted through this discussion. So we're really excited to see where that ends up and, and what products and services Lloyd's can help co-create uh, with our clients and brokers. <music>